वेलकम टू माय वीकली मार्केट राउंड अप थर्टी फर्स्ट मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई एम सागर नंदी आई यूज टू वर्क इन आई टी आई हैव रिटायर्ड नाउ स्विंग ट्रेडिंग स्टॉक्स यूजिंग द क्यू सिस्टम्स एंड टेक्निक्स दैट आई डेवलप दिस इज माय ईमेल आईडी माय यूट्यूब चैनल ट्विटर पेज एंड ऑल्सो ट्रेडर्स फोरम आई रेगुलरली शेयर मार्केट एंड स्टॉक एनालिसिस using live systems here all these are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them disclaimer i am not an investment advisor this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is not a trade recommendation trading involves risk you and only you are solely responsible for the outcome of your trades as usual i will look at oil and gold using technical analysis then i will demonstrate the use of the 360 degrees analysis where you can align the forces from the market sector industry fundamental and technical levels with your trades giving you truly high probability low risk trades i am going to use q global and q finder for technical analysis they run on meta stock i may also use q elite the technical trading system that runs on trade station for fundamental and pr analysis i will use q vital sector industry rotation analysis q edge and today i may or may not use it i use q index for market level index analysis that was the last slide of my presentation i'll now continue with the live system let's look at oil first using the oil etf uso i'm using the weekly daily at a glance template in the weekly chart after displaying the bullish headwind reversal signal price is continuing to go up the bullish headwind could catch the very bottom This week's candle shape is bullish and the color backdrop color is also bullish. In the daily chart price is going up with higher low and higher high. Price is supported by the memory trend line support. On Friday price went up from near the memory support. It seems that the likely move of oil from here is upward. If you take a long trade you may put your stop just below the memory support level. Gold ETF GLD in the weekly chart it went up rapidly in this area and then it is still continuing to go up however the pace of going up has reduced. This week's backdrop candle color is yellow. the shape is bullish in the daily chart price is moving inside the range bound by the support memory trend line and resistance watermark pivot it is in the middle of the sideways range that is not a place to take any swing trade if price can come down to the memory support and reverses from there then you may look for a long trade at that time If you look back on this Wednesday there was a golden opportunity in buying gold using that technique using the technique of buying the instrument when it is hitting the memory trend line support and going up from there After the commodities analysis I am continuing with the market level analysis starting with the S&P 500 ETF SPY In the last weekend market round up I mentioned that my market outlook was bullish That was useful because from there price went up This week's candle color backdrop color is bullish the shape is somewhat mixed because it has an upper tail as well as a lower tail Though if you look at the shape overall it is more bullish than bearish 
in the daily chart price is going up it is in a clear uptrend price is supported by memory support line it is too close to the upper boundary level therefore i may not look for any swing long trade in spy right now however the trend is clearly bullish nasdaq etf qqq in the weekly chart it is sharply going up this week's candle shape and color both are bullish if you look at the band indicators you can see that it had a reversal week this week that is price went below previous week's low however closed above previous week's high that is a bullish formation though qqq went up you can see from the relative performance copper color line that tilted down showing that qqq underperformed the market s&p 500 in the daily price is in an uptrend supported by memory trend line support too close to the upper boundary for me to try any long trade right now Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA the relative performance line tilted up showing that it outperformed the market this week's backdrop color is bullish though the shape is mixed the hollow candle shows it is bullish the upper tail shows that it is bearish overall the shape is mixed in the daily price is going up in an uptrend price is supported by memory support too close to the upper boundary for me to take any long trade now Russell 2000 ETF IWM here also the backdrop color is bullish and the shape is very indecisive with equal size upper and lower tails in the daily price is going up it broke above the watermark resistance this week so far it is holding above that watermark resistance which may now act as support price is too close to the upper boundary level therefore i may not try any long trade right now though it is also looking bullish after the market level analysis i am continuing with the sector level analysis starting with the one month sector performance and this picture is from one week ago not from this week but from one week ago here you can see the sector's performance across three periods 5 day, 10 day and 1 month over 5 day all the sectors were up 1 week ago over 1 month also most of the sectors were up only one sector was down over 1 month period which sectors were doing best over the 1 month period they were energy and consumer discretionary followed by materials and industrials this is a picture from one week ago what happened this week this is the sector performance again across three review periods and this picture is from the current week this week also all the 11 sectors went up previous week also all the sectors went up that is showing a bullish picture from the sector level if you looked at the stack bars which sectors are continuing to be very strong consumer discretionary is the strongest and industrials and materials are gaining strength if you are looking to buy into strength you may look for buying opportunities in these sectors consumer discretionary industrials and materials that will be buying into sectors that are continuing to show strength 
across five day period, ten day period, as well as one month period. Let's now zoom in on this week's sector performance. This is sector performance across one day period, two day period and five day period. Over five day, over the week, we already saw all the 11 sectors went up. However, on Friday, only three sectors were up, eight were down and over two day period, that is Thursday, Friday, only one sector was up, 10 sectors were down. Which sectors were up Friday? Let's look at that. This is sector performance over one day period, that is Friday sector performance. Three sectors were up. Which were they? They were consumer staples, utilities and information technology. Out of these three sectors, consumer staples and utilities are defensive sectors. Information technology is non-defensive. These three sectors went up and all the other sectors went down. The down sectors declined by much bigger percentages relative to the percentage up move of the sectors that went up. Which sectors performed worst on Friday? Those were energy, real estate and financials. On Friday and Thursday, Friday over two day period, the sectors weakened a little bit. However, we still have to say that over the weekly period, sectors are pretty strong. The sector and market both are looking bullish. I notice that the FANG stocks are leading again. Let's have a look at them. This is Facebook. It made a sharp v-shape recovery from the bottom one week ago it broke above the watermark resistance this week it tried to go down however closed above the watermark resistance which may now act as support in the daily it displayed a bearish headwind at the very top price pulled back little bit from there it is now near the memory trend line support. It is more likely that price will go up from here than go down. Apple Apple also made a sharp V-shape recovery from the bottom. However, it is looking weaker than Facebook. Why? Because the relative performance is tilting down. In the weekly chart, it could not break above the watermark resistance. In the daily, it is inside a triangle pattern. And on Friday, price went down. Close just at the memory support line. If price goes down from here, and if you are holding long position in Apple, you may protect your profit or you may hedge your position with put options. Amazon This stock went up sharply from this bottom. If you compare with Facebook and Apple, it didn't have a sharp decline like those two stocks. It moved up rapidly at the right edge, it is looking weaker than both Facebook and Apple. Though it is still bullish, however, weaker than Facebook and Apple. Why? If you notice, both Facebook and Apple are continuing with backdrop color cyan, bullish. However, in Amazon, the backdrop color is neutral yellow for three weeks now. In the daily chart, price is moving inside a range. 
it is not able to break above the watermark resistance. If price goes down below this sideways range, then you may protect profit in your long position. Google, this is also very strong, looking similar to Facebook, but maybe a little bit weaker than Facebook. Made a sharp V-shape recovery, reasonable distance away from the watermark resistance level in the weekly chart. You remember in Facebook, it could break above the corresponding watermark resistance. In the daily, price is going up, supported by multiple memory trend line support. Though it is relatively weaker than Facebook, Google is also very bullish. Netflix, this is the weakest of the FANG stocks. It is bullish at the right edge, but weakest among the FANG stocks because one week ago it displayed the bearish headwind signal. At that time, the backdrop color was neutral and this week it dropped further. This is the only FANG stock where the backdrop color could change to magenta, bearish. However, this week ended with a long lower tail that shows that the bulls started to buy again. In the daily chart, price dropped from the watermark resistance level. I discussed the stock on the day it displayed the bearish flow color candle in the daily chart. At that time, it also broke below a memory support. I suggested that you could take a short trade at that time. That short trade exited with profit when it hit the yellow direction line. On Wednesday, it found support at the yellow direction line. On Friday, it displayed the bull release signal and the candle shape was bullish. The traffic light candle color changed from red that is bearish on Thursday to yellow neutral on Friday. It seems that from here the next likely move will be to the upside. When you look at the FANG stocks they are all looking strong. Relatively you may say Facebook is stronger than others and Netflix may be relatively weaker among the FANG stocks. However, all of them are bullish and it seems that the likely next move is to the upside for all of these stocks. Now it is the time to make a call on the market outlook and prefer trade direction. One week ago, my market outlook was bullish. Since then, the market ETFs went up further all the four market ETFs are having backdrop color as bullish. All the sectors also went up since then. All the 11 sectors are up this way. The leading stocks, FANG stocks are also looking bullish. Therefore, I am going to keep my market outlook as bullish. When everything is looking so bullish, my preferred trade direction is also bullish now. However, the market has gone up significantly. I will be cautious before buying many stocks at this point. Especially, I will avoid buying stocks that are technically overbought or fundamentally overvalued. There are many stocks that are overbought and overvalued at this point. If the market starts to go down, then I'm sure using the Q systems and techniques, we all will find a significant number of shorting opportunities. However, that is if the market starts to go down. That if has not happened yet. At present, my market outlook is remaining bullish. I will not go through individual stocks today. 
you may keep an eye on my traders forum sakarnandi.com and also twitter page twitter.com sakarnandi when i find attractive buying or shorting opportunities using live analysis i will continue to share those ideas here let me end today's session here thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in my next session have a great week and trade profitably